Alright, so first problem we're going to start with is integral 24x cubed 3x plus 5 equals 10 dx. Alright, so first um, you're going to want to find the u and that's where the parentheses are. So u equals 3x to the fourth plus 5. And then you're going to want to find the, the derivative will of will u, Nugent, please which come is um, to the visitor center. Will so first Nugent, you take 3 times 4, which is 12. At this time. Thank you. 12x, and then just subtract 1 from the 4, so you get 12x to the third. And then derivative of 5 is uh, just 0. And then after that, you're going to take whatever's in front here, take that and multiply it to get 24x to the third. So this will just be simple 2 du equals 24x to the third. Um, then after that, you're just going to do integral um, 2u Oh wait, there should be a 5 there. So 2u to the 5th. So you take the 2 from there, and or the 2 from there, times u, which is right there, and then to the 5th, because this is all to the 5th. So you're substituting u, which is that. And then it'll be y equals 2u to the 5th plus 1. And then you have 6 here, so divide by 6. And then it will be y equals one third u to the six plus c, and then y equals one third times. Then you plug in the u, three x to the four plus five. You can look back there for the u, all to the six, which you have here, plus c. And then the second one, textbook. <laughs> Um, we're going to do integral 30x squared times 5x to the third plus 4 dx. So take the u first, u equals 5x to the third plus 4, and then d, derivative of u, so 5 times 3 equals 15x and subtract one from the three, so 15x squared. Derivative of four is zero. And then this simple multiply to get your 30x times two, 30x squared. Um, then after that, integral, take your two u to the fourth. Oh yeah, sorry, it should be a four there. Two u to the fourth, that's where you get the four from. Uh, du and then 2u to the fourth or y equals 2u to the fourth plus 1 so then divide that so y equals 2 fifth 2 over 5 u to the fifth plus c and then you're going to plug in your u which is 5x to the third plus 4, all to the fifth, plus c. All right, so we're going to try out these problems with the student. Uh, do I have a lucky student who wants to help me? Please, Mr. Dom, please. Connor, yes, you. Yes. So what's, uh, what's the first step here, Mr. Connor? Uh, you have to find the u, which is 5x to the fifth minus 4. Very good. What's the next step? Uh, you take the derivative of that, which is 25x to the fourth. Very good. And then what's your last step for this part? Uh, you, you need to put that in four times to make it equal to 100 dx. So it's 4du equals 100x to the fourth dx. That is perfect. All right, now for our second part of the problem. All right, you're going to need the S 
integral, and then it's u to the fifth, and then four du. Very good. And then one simple step after that. So it's y equals four, and then u, and then five plus one, and then put that over six, or under six, and then plus c. Very good. And then to simplify, it would be y equals two thirds, and then five, in parentheses, five x to the fifth minus four to the sixth power plus c. Very good. You are one smart student, Mr. Maloney. I've been studying a lot, Mr. <laughs> Dom. All right, so we're going to do one more, but this one's a little trickier with uh, trig. You substitution with trig, but I think you're smart enough. Oh, uh, yeah, trig doesn't phase me one bit. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, so what, what's our first step here? Uh, the u is going to be sine 4x. Very good. And what's our du? Uh, it's going to be 4 cosine 4x and then dx. Perfect. All right, so now head over to this side of the problem. What do we got? It's going to be uh, the s and then u to the 3, the third power, du. Very good. And then it's going to be y equals u 3 plus 1 as an exponent under 4 plus c. Perfect, you're almost there. And then to wrap it all up, got y equals 1 fourth parentheses sine 4x to the fourth plus c. Perfect, you are one intelligent student. I'm expecting some candy soon. <laughs> After this problem, I have to try on my own. All right, so Mr. Maloney, we're gonna have you uh, Try this one out on your own after I've taught you so well. So let's see how you can do. All right, I think I got this. All right, so this is going to be 2x to the fifth plus 5. And derivative of that is going to be 10x to the fourth. And so you need 5 times more of that. So it'll be 5 du equals 50x fourth dx. Very good. Thank you. And you gotta do y equals five, just the u, not the d. And then the three plus one over four. And it's gonna be y equals five u to the fourth over four plus c. And then to kind of finish it all out, just gotta do a little equation. plus C. That should be the answer. Very good. Excellent.